And this is the next one to be restored. And so we're seeing that there's reflection here. There is some lack of clarity just from the age of the varnish and it really needs cleaning. So, so we have just minor damage to this frame, not as severe as the other painting. We have a couple of corners that are dented and it looks like cleaning and some gold highlights will help the frame to look just as, uh, say, continuing that continuity or congruence so that none of the frames look too drastically different, trying to keep them in the same realm. So it'll be really fun to see how much more reflection do we see? So you test with Q-tips, you know, right where the edge of the frame is so that you're testing without too much dramatic impact. And then as you realize, all right, this is the one that's going to work the best, we can start the cleaning process. And that's where we were talking about that this changed a lot. There was a lot of uh, dirt hanging in the, in the face, and partly because it's got such a light background. So then as we did that, uh, cleaning, then we start the patching work where you put the patch behind and then you're working on uh, putting gesso. And everybody asks, well, is gesso just like plaster? And you say, well, no, it's so incredibly thin. You know, you have to keep applying gesso, so it might get 10 or 20 coats of gesso to fill in where the dent was so that the now the, the level of the painting and the gesso are similar so that you can uh, in paint. So in painting, and then we were talking about that wonderful word, fire vengeance of the conservation varnish that's put on as the final stage. And then it's uh, assembled again. So you see that clarity and the depth comes back from the, from the, the proper varnishing.